Hi HD Mafia, how are you? It's your bitch Hazel Dior. This is the Job Corps story time. I went there when I was 20, so this was nine years ago. I remember I was living in the Grand Rapids area of Michigan with my sister and her husband at the time at a hotel. I signed up to go to Job Corps probably like a month or something after that. So I think I had another, close to another month until I caught the bus there and arrived and stuff. So I did work a job for maybe like a week and a half at a little factory job, bitch, and I quit that shit. Got a little uh, paycheck or two or a half prior to Detroit Job Corps. People were like, why you don't just go to Grand Rapids? Why? And that was my initial plan. I wanted to go somewhere where it was like calm, laid back, not ghetto or ratchet, none of that shit. My initial thought of that was Detroit, was ghetto and ratchet but when i looked at the statistics it said detroit had the highest success rate for a graduate so i'm like well it can't be that motherfucking bad if all these people like graduating oh shit let me take this off i'm sorry y'all i'll be having my hair wrapped up during the day because i said this unit i'm gonna keep this shit up so i'm not gonna have it get entangled and dusty and all that shit Okay, now we're back. My big cousin, Riri, prior, he lived in the Grand Rapids area. Man, I don't think you should be going to no Detroit because, you know, it's gonna be real ratchet and woo woo woo. I, I went there years ago and I don't think that's the place you wanna go. Just totally dismiss what him and his mama telling me. So bitch, I'm on a Greyhound bus, get to Detroit. It's like getting nighttime. Like the sun is going down, we pulled up to the building we're going through the security thing well when a greyhound bus dropped me off one of the job court people came in a van and picked me up just me by myself there was no other job court people it was just me so i'm like damn i'm the only one like the new kid on the block arriving mind you job court is from ages 16 to 24 i was 20 at the time so i was in between we go through the security thing it's a big ass black dude and I can just tell from his presence and the way he was looking with a mug on his face that this man was not a nice guy. Bitch, they didn't let me off in that van. I got out. This man was like, empty everything out. I'm like, what? Don't you wanna, I open it and you check it? So I guess I didn't respond to what he said. I was just like, huh? I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. This is my first time. This man up unzipped my fucking suitcase and dumped everything on the ground. Like, why you just dumping my stuff all over, bitch? I got all my personal shit. Mind you, I'm a gay male at this time. I'm not transition. I'm not a woman like I am right now. I feel like I was going backwards when I went to Job Corps. I'm going to explain. Baby oil, perfume, and scented lotions and shit just falling out he dumped all my i had my shit folded nice and neat everything just falling on this concrete ground and that's how they searched today i said oh this is a banji place they don't have no type of respect here this is some ratchet shit i just was kind of just like whatever like why are you just dumping my shit everywhere i just kind of just paid it dust i don't remember if i had a guider with me someone to guide me I'm walking down this long sidewalk. You walk up this way, then you turn, go all the way down the sidewalk to get to the building. Bitch, I'm just hearing a whole bunch of screaming and noise. I just, it was like school. It's like being in high school, ratchet ass high school, and kids get there in the morning time and everybody just bunched up in a big group and making all this noise and kicking, laughing, playing with each other, smacking girls' asses, and play fighting. It's, bitch, all that is going on. What the fuck did I get myself into? I was coming here after Job Corps for education. I'm a grown-ass person. What is I'm doing here? This seemed like a bunch of wild children. Oh, shit, my heart is beating fast. At the time, I did not present as a woman. But I was real feminine. I had long hair and some twisties, some blonde twisties in my head. And the people were starting to turn and look at me. Like I'm the new kid on the block. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And this 
big ass fat black boy he would just keep staring at me and I'm like oh shit when I saw you I thought you was a girl you a nigga you a nigga I'm like boy bye I'm just already catching on to the vibes I'm like oh shit this was type of territory this is bitch he made a mistake he was not trying to go to nothing ratchet I wanted to get away from where I was staying you know and like basically live here get the education they pay you $25 a week and when I got there things wasn't what I thought they like manipulated and lied to people on um, when you graduate they supposed to set you up at a location and blah 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 it was all a complete lie when you graduated you was like on your own each trade was worth $500 each it was just like a complete lie I, I learned that as the days went on kind of walk in or whatever a little timid a little a little like nervous now uh, what do i do what do i do i'm like oh my god like where is the lgbt community in this bitch because i just see a whole bunch of wretched people everywhere i'm like oh my god where are they gonna see me at like where i, I, I want to be around like someone like me you know i don't fit in with these people they would never accept me i'm just hoping and praying that i be with like be roamed with somebody of my caliber which i ran into i call her diva she was a very feminine gay male at that time i was very shocked to see her somebody from my hometown i'm like oh shit bitch you up in here they is a trans trans woman just like i am so they was on the verge of transitioning but they were more feminine than me they was really like letting all their their hair down their color sh show so i can tell all the guys was like oh i don't want to be around this you know this type of person me i was comfortable in my being prior to going to job court i was bitch i was me it's except for me you know when i got there i feel like i stalled and i kind of went in a closet so it's kind of like feminine energy and a masculine I felt threatened, I felt unsafe. I'm like, damn, I can't be myself. When I noticed Diva, I'm like, bitch, where is you roomed at? I walked over, Diva took me to her room. Bitch, why is the whole LGBT community in that bitch? It was like five, six of them in this dorm type of room. They all had a beds. Everybody in there gay, all gay males. I'm like, bitch, I want to be up in here. The fuck? So when the, the teacher lady, I went back in the hallway, and they um was taking me to my room. They're like, we're going to show you where your room at. Bitch, I opened that motherfucking door. The same guy that had approached me, like, oh, I thought you was a, a bitch. You a nigga. He was in there. Everybody in there, it was four other people in there and they all was hood niggas i'm like bitch you gotta be motherfucking kidding me how dare you guys put me because you know you sign up for job corps you tell them your orientation and i believe i put all that shit on there i was very comfortable bitch they didn't put me in here with the niggas i'm like oh my gosh like this ain't gonna go well one of them in a the group in the dorm turned out to be cool as fuck anthony he was real cool he never quite questioned me about if i were gay or not the other ones on the next day they see me like going to walk off to go somewhere else they like hey where you going you with us so bitch i had to like be friends and kind of be cool with these people i'm room with them we a group, like we a gang. I ain't with no gang type of shit. Well, you with us, so you ain't got no choice, basically. So I'm so uncomfortable, y'all. I'm so uncomfortable. I'm walking with these people. I want to be over here with Diva and, and the rest of the community. So, baby, I would sneak off from the guys during the outdoor time and go. Diva used to be in this, like, dancing room. It was this little building of recreational stuff diva in here and all the gays some of the gays up in here they dancing with the girls you know just being themselves and having fun so bitch i'm sneaking off in there hanging with diva and all them bitch i come outside and i'm talking to this country white sexy old 
man, honey, he was like 20. He said he was 22. I'm getting real cool with him. He read my aura from the beginning. You have a purple aura around you. I was like, what you mean? Because I didn't really know too much about that. I can read people auras. Yours is purple. It's glowing. When I saw you, I saw it. I, and I know that you're gay, too. He said, I saw it, everything in you as soon as I saw you. I already knew who you was from a distance away. You suppress a lot of stuff. You come off calm and cool and laid back. But inside of you is a beast. And it's, when you go off, you go ham, honey. That's exactly how he said it. And I kind of wanted him, but he was, he had a fiance outside of job or whatever. But I was kind of like flirting with him and he was flirting with me too. So the guys, they like walked up and approached me. It was like, why you, why you hanging with these fags? I'm like, um, I can't hang with them. Like these my people, who the fuck? No, are you making us look bad? So as they was like, come on, we finna go up to the lunch room and eat. So I'm getting up, walking with them like I'm some type of peasant or something. I would never allow that shit to this day. The person I am now, I would never allow that. I'm walking with these people, this one big ass guy, he wasn't even roomed with us. We, we had, in a group of all these thugs, the four roommates, there was more on top of that. There was other dorm people that was in the group too. So I'm not walking with just the roommates. I'm walking with other guys that's a part of this gang and shit. And they all looking at me funny because they can tell that I am was gay. They can tell. Bitch, I'm sensing a little energy, honey. Should we stop the video? Not from Job Corps. I'm talking about in this house. I just heard some shit. The one guy gonna turn my way and say, "Oh, it's a good thing that you one of us. I thought you, I thought you was a fag when I, when I first saw you." But I'm saying to myself, "Please tell me what has happened that changed your mind." All because I'm with all of you guys. I'm with the with the roommates. So oh, he can't. They can't be gay. Bitch, you know, I don't like you already. Because the people I was roommate with, they was in every class that I had. Can you believe that shit? They was in... So I could not escape these people. It was like regular school. You got to go to first hour, second hour. I'm in there for CNA. To become a CNA. Why are you people with me? I guess somebody else was taking up CNA. I don't feel like all of them was taking CNA. But I'm wrong with all these motherfucking... These people is with me even in class, honey. So there was no escaping. Bitch, I forgot to mention. When I first got there, the next day, I did not know that they did this. If I knew this prior, I would have never went there, bitch. You got to introduce yourself in the cafeteria... If you're new there, you have to introduce yourself to the whole entire school. Everyone, no matter what what trade, what you come there for, every fucking body is in this cafeteria, yo. Oh, this is hundreds of people. They didn't give me no microphone or shit. They just shushing people. I didn't even know that they was doing this shit. Oh, you, introduce yourself, stand up. Oh, no. Bitch, I stand up. And they're like, introduce yourself, tell us where you're from and about you. I'm not going to say my my um, birth name because that's not who I am anymore. My name is Desmond Washington. I'm from Saginaw. I'm 20 years old. And mind you, I'm talking really low. Because I, bitch, I ain't trying to talk in front of all you hoes. So this nappy-headed ass black boy over there, far off in the motherfucking corner, was like, speak up, we can't hear you. 
I said, bitch, you need to mind your motherfucking business, hoe, because I wasn't talking to you. And everybody jumped up screaming, laughing, like, oh, you just got hoe, you just got hoe. And I said, bitch, don't be asking me no motherfucking questions because I wasn't, I'm not talking just to you. I'm talking to everybody else. I'm, I don't have, this is how I talk. I can't talk any louder. The speaker guy that was right by me was just like, no, just chill, just chill or whatever. And that was it. And they wanted me to, to finish speaking. Like, can you repeat it again? Because we all couldn't hear you or whatever. And I'm like, no, because they pissed me the fuck off. That little boy had a little issue with me or whatever, but he never said nothing else because he seen how I checked that ass. I'm going to have to make this a part two, y'all, because it's so many things that I'm going to discuss about this place. And I, I didn't even realize it was going to be this long. I was really trying to shorten this video up 10, 15 minutes max, but that's not possible. So it's going to be a part two, you guys. i see you guys really, really shortly, okay?